you did it wrong. In this video, I'm going to share about one idea from Carol Dweck and her book Mindset and how when applied, it can change your life in every major area, your faith, foundation, finances, relationships, and health. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to shift that and be able to apply it today. In the description of this video, there's a free how to start your next semester strong. Go ahead and check that out. So this one principle, well, before I get to that principle, when I was 16, I wanted to play drums in a church environment. And I don't know if you've ever had a dream or something that you like really wanted to do and you saw someone doing, man, like, man, that's what I want to be doing. And you, I could see it. And, and there was this guy named Aaron Soto and he was playing drums uh, in the middle school ministry that I was at at a church and he was really good. And I was just like, oh my goodness, I want to be, I want to be like that. And so I started practicing. I started doing the work. I did um, a summer where I practiced three hours every single day, did these rudiments. They can be kind of boring, but they're really necessary. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to do the thing that I need to do. And then I went and I tried out for, to be able to play drums there. And they said, no. And so then I had a moment where I was like, okay, do I, do I keep playing drums? Like, I'm not good enough to be able to do what I want to do. So how do I respond to that? And so I went back and I kept practicing and I went and tried out again. I still wasn't good enough. <laughs> and then I started working and I started college and it just didn't work for me to be able to do a, it didn't work for me to be able to even do on an audition again. And then finally, uh, I heard about Thrive, and I and I moved up here to play drums, and didn't get to play drums at all for over three months. And again, there were other people that were doing that. And how did I respond in each one of those situations? Well, honestly, I responded differently at each stage. And one of the things that I did do is I kept seeing this challenge or these obstacles as an opportunity for growth. That didn't mean it wasn't not fun. It was terribly unfun to not uh, to not be good enough to be able to play drums in these different environments. But what I learned in that process was that in the midst of those obstacles and those setbacks along the way, I have the opportunity, should I choose to engage with it, to find out what are my weaknesses, what are the things that I did wrong that I can then improve in the future. And there is this incredible uh, thing that I'm just going to show you. So this is kind of the like, the main concept that if you were to like, to read the book Mindset by Carol Dweck, I had this printed out, I think I drew a small version of this, I'm just going to walk you through it really quickly. So the fixed mindset is this idea that intelligence or skill is static, that there's some people that are just really good at stuff, and there's some people that are just not that great at stuff. And that is what it is. And so when we have that fixed mindset, it leads to a desire to look smart. And therefore, it has a tendency to avoid challenges. Because if you're, if internally you want to look smart, then you want to look like you have all the answers and you have it all figured out. So we then tend to, in that mindset, avoid challenges. If there's an obstacle, we'll give up easily because again we should just be able to do it automatically with no effort and yeah an effort right there is is seen as fruitless or it's worse like that we actually aren't that intelligent and usually inside of that mindset we ignore useful negative feedback and when other people are successful we are threatened because there isn't enough and as a result we can plateau early and achieve less than our full potential. And all of this confirms our deterministic view of the world that everything is set, that there isn't any way for it to grow. And so the other side of that, that's on this side of the, uh, the guy, is the growth mindset. And this is that intelligence or skills can be developed. And this leads to a desire to learn, and therefore it actually creates a tendency to embrace challenges, uh, to persist in the face of obstacles, to see effort as a pathway to mastery, and to be able to learn 
from criticism. And when other people succeed, it actually creates inspiration and we learn from others. And as a result, we can achieve even higher levels of success. For me in my drumming journey, in each one of those steps, I was able to learn something. Like at one point it was, oh, I can't play to click. I need to play to click more and be able to really be able to own that because that was a really integral part, a really important part to being able to play drums in that environment. Another thing that I learned was how important dynamics were once I came to uh, thrive. And I got to see like, oh, well, if Noah's doing that and Seth's doing that, then I can probably do it too. Like granted, they had different uh, starts than me, but if they're doing those things, I can get there too. And this was really such a, like of all the books that I've read, I would say this is probably one of the most impactful diagrams of seeing Okay, if I don't, like, for example, when, I, when I'm taking a math class, this was super relevant. Because when you're doing something like that, there's like, you can try the same problem over and over and over again and keep getting it wrong. And, and I remember being so frustrated in the midst of, of a class before I understood this concept. And once I did, what I would find myself thinking is, oh, I'm, I got this one wrong. Great. Now I know that way doesn't work. So I'm missing something. What am I missing? And then I tried another way and go, okay, that one didn't work either. And then I tried another way. That one also didn't work. And then maybe by the fourth or the seventh or 10th time, I would be closer or I would say, okay, I'm missing something. I've tried it a couple times, but I would also be aware of where is my energy level because my ability to think in this manner was dependent upon my energy level. And so if I was doing math at 8 p.m. at night, my tendency to get frustrated would be way higher versus if I was doing it at 8 a.m. in the morning, my energy is way better and I'm able to be calmer and keep trying different things and, and be able to go, hey, I don't get this and I've tried it a couple different ways. I'm going to go to, I'm going to find out where, where could I learn this better? Could I go to my professor's office hours? Um, could I watch something on YouTube? Like there's something that I'm missing and somewhere there's the resource to be able to overcome this. Will I look for it? And that's really the big uh, takeaway from that is that we will fail at things. We will do badly at things. So if you don't know that, now you do. Uh but it's how we choose to respond and are we willing to go through that process of embracing the challenges, embracing the struggle and be willing to say, oh, that didn't work, but that doesn't make me, that doesn't have an indication of my value. That is a external thing. Like, can we create space between ourselves and who we are and the value we put in ourselves and the good result or bad result that we may or may not have created and simply by saying, hey, I don't know how to do this yet. That can be such a small shift that can have monumental, have a monumental difference in how we operate on a daily basis. So that's what I'd encourage you with is that challenge can actually bring about an incredible thing on the other side. And uh, this re relates to scripture as well. I believe it's James 1, 4 of consider it pure joy when you Face trials of many kinds because the testing of your faith produces perseverance and has let perseverance finish its work so you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And so it's this process of in the midst of pain, there can be this mat maturation or maturity that can happen within us when we're going through it. And it's kind of cool when neuroscience and scripture come together. So thanks so much for watching this video. Please go ahead and give this a like as well as subscribe to this channel for a lot more great content just 